are really nuts, you know it? <laughs> One of these days, they're gonna come over here and just lock you up. You lay off of me. You are playing with full deck, Eunice. <laughs> I think you done sprung a leak in your dinghy. <laughs> what is the problem, Eunice? Is it your time of month or something? You ride the car. That was an outtake with Vicki Lawrence and Carol Burnett playing their iconic characters, Thelma and Eunice, in the 1980s sitcom Mama's Family. But before the show's debut, both Mama and Eunice got their start on the variety sketch comedy program called The Carol Burnett Show. The show ran for 11 seasons from 1967 to 1978, producing 279 episodes and winning 25 Primetime Emmy Awards. Now, some of the Carol Burnett Show's iconic moments will be relived in the special, Carol Burnett's Favorite Sketches. Carol Burnett will host this program and walk us through the stories behind some of her favorite scenes. Here to give us a preview is Carol Burnett Show alum and somebody who we've been big fans of for so many years, Vicki Lawrence. Vicki, welcome to you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for having me. Let me ask you about that because you watched that outtake. And for those of us who watched your shows religiously, part of the fun of watching those shows was trying to, to see if you guys could all get each other to crack up in the middle of the scene. And it was you and yeah. Carol and Tim Conway, and you could see some would be on the verge, some would just give in to it. Was, was that something that you all genuinely enjoyed doing, trying to get the other ones to lose their composure? I, you know, I didn't do that until Mama came along. Um, cause I didn't really feel like I had earned the right to play with the grownups in the sandbox and that when <laughs> mom came along, you know, she was, I finally felt like I had sort of hit my stride. So I had some, you know, catching up to do. Uh, the one that we just watched was, uh, yeah, I just kept going on and on saying things to Carol and it was just, <laughs> it, it was a lot. Of it was great to watch it play out. Uh, let me ask you about the Mama character, because obviously it gets launched here, and it, it gives rise to a, an entire show. But I had I'd seen something where it said that you, you were not that into the idea of the character, at least initially. Is that so and why? Oh, no. Uh, the, the initial sketch, The Family, was written by two of the writers on Carol's show. Uh, and they both hated their mothers. So they wrote this incredibly beautiful homage to their dysfunctional families. They intended Carol to play uh, Mama. And uh, when she read the final draft of the sketch, she said that she felt Eunice spoke to her and she would like to play the part of Eunice. They were very upset. Then she said to Bob Mackey, our costume designer, don't you think we could make Vicky Mama? And he said, sure, because I had played many old ladies by that time on the show. And the writers were doubly upset. Uh, and then she, we got into rehearsal and she said, I think we need to do this Southern, you guys. And because she said, it is nothing if not Tennessee Williams on acid. So we're going to do it Southern. <laughs> and and uh, writers were so upset at what we had done that they got up and walked out the first time they saw us do it. <laughs> Tennessee Williams on acid. What a great yeah. description of all of this. <laughs> I, I want to show a clip of another one, a, a venerable sketch, the, the takeoff on Gone with the Wind, called yeah. went, went with the Wind. Let's take a quick look at this, a part of this, if we can. Well, I've got an idea. When he comes in, why don't you hide behind the drapes? <laughs> <laughs> to Tara. You, you vixen, you. Stop it. I love you. That, that, that gown is gorgeous. Thank you. I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist it. So, Vicki, I'm curious. You know, one of the, the legendary moments in film. Uh, what did you think when you first sat down and took a look at this idea, when, when this was proposed to you, saying, hey, we got an idea. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, a takeoff on Gone with the Wind. What was the reaction amongst all of you? Well, you know, we did a lot of movie take up, takeoffs. Carol loved to do movie takeoffs. And um, Gone with the Wind, uh, an iconic movie, there were two writers who were probably about my age, um, 
uh, and they were ushers over at NBC at the time. And we were over at CBS, but they were huge Carol Burnett fans. So they wrote the takeoff to Gone with the Wind. They submitted it to uh, her husband, who was the executive producer, who read it and invited them over to CBS and said, would you guys like to be writers on our staff? Because this is brilliant. And uh, uh, it, it was beautifully written. I know everybody talks about that curtain rod and the, that outfit, which I know is pretty good. But I have to say, I think Chrissy was a pretty fun character. I enjoyed playing her. It was <laughs> I really thought she was good. That was one of my favorite characters to play. The curtain rod, incidentally, was not in the script. Uh, it simply said that Carol comes down dressed uh, in a dress made out of the curtains. And uh, Bob Mackey, uh, she said Bob Mackey took her aside in wardrobe fitting and said, I have a kind of a funny idea. Would you come in here and tell me what you think? And he had a mannequin wearing the curtain rod. And she said, I peed in my pants. She said, I was laughing so hard. And she, she ended up showing the costume to Harvey so that he wouldn't lose it. Nobody <laughs> else got it. And, uh, but yeah, certainly one of the longest sustained laughs in our history. What's interesting I find about this is that not all television stands up to a test of time. Not in the sense that it wasn't, wasn't good then, but it, yeah. it doesn't have the same impact with the passage of time. I find that these sketches do. That they, they can be as funny now as they were then. Why do you think that is? Well, they're... Great. First of all, we weren't terribly topical back in the day. These are all great old movies that people have hopefully seen anyway, and they can still enjoy the takeoffs. Uh, the, the Burnett Show was so beautifully written and so beautifully produced, and and uh, I think there were you can look back and think of a lot of iconic variety shows. But whatever time warp Carol landed in, it was just uh, it wasn't black and white. It was. It was beautiful. It was glossy. It was a beautiful production. And uh, just an incredibly well-gelled cast. Uh, and that show ran like a top and was helmed by a lady that um, is every bit as special as everybody thinks she is. And so I feel like we're all just the benevolent recipients of all the love that everybody feels for Carol. And I think that's a lot of the reason why this stuff still holds up. Why do you think, given the fact that the, the Carol Burnett show was so extraordinarily successful, and we've seen other variety shows back then that were successful, why do you think we don't see that genre on television, at least not much of it anymore? Oh, I, well, I don't think the networks would, I don't think they could afford it, first of all. I mean, I, what, what probably one of Carol's uh, beautiful gowns in the beginning would cost uh, at least 20 grand now, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, we had a huge, we had a 20-piece orchestra. We had a huge writing staff. Um, I just don't think it's uh, cost-effective anymore to do that. Well, we all had a good time watching, and it, it's been such a pleasure to have a chance to chat with you here and, and to look back at some of these sketches. Obviously, we're going to look forward to it. But I think what's great about it is those of us who remember it will have a, a, a great opportunity to relive it. But I think there are going to be folks who never saw it before who are going to say, wow, that's really funny. Where can I find some more of that? And I get, you know yeah. what? If, if you're looking for a legacy, you probably can't get a better one than that. No, probably not. Hey, Vicki, thank you so much. It's a real pleasure. You be well. Thank you. You too. Thanks for having me. And Carol Burnett's favorite sketch is premieres on Friday, June 3rd at 9 p.m. on 13. For more information, visit us online at 13.org or check your local listings.